Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Ronson Typhoon flip top petrol lighter. This is also a slip case lighter with a little bit different shape than most. This is not to be confused with the wind light which had come before it. The slip case on this lighter is made of aluminum. This was a true salvage job as this lighter has been in there on the floor of my workshop for I can't tell you how long. Didn't realize I had it. I'm always looking for new Ronsons to get a first look at and this one is no different. Just to give you an idea how complex the cigarette lighter hobby really is, as many lighters as I've handled, and it's been thousands, uh, I did not know until just a minute ago when I checked for Typhoon information on the Toledo Bend website, there were price and inspection stickers on the bottom of this lighter that I removed and put them into a Ziploc bag to preserve just because I actually would have preferred to have left something like that on the lighter but it was so brittle there was just no way so I pulled that up and cleaned it off but I was ignorant of the difference between the Typhoon and the wind light or really any of the Ronson flip top petrol lighters. Not ignorant that they existed, just ignorant of which was which and when they came about. This is the Typhoon which was made according to the Toledo Bend website starting in 1960. See how it has that nice Ronson marking right on the front of the lid. This lighter despite the dings, scuffs, and other wear to the finish, the dirtiness of the wick, and that wick does not look at all like any Ronson wick I've ever seen before. Looks more like a Beatty jet type fiberglass wick than it does the Ronson wicks that I have used. But who knows, if I go to pull it out of there, maybe it looks a lot different where it has been untouched. But the chrome on this lighter is in very good condition on the lid and the insert and the lighter functions extremely well at least once I got the flint grooved and spinning real well in the right direction it has a sort of black felt pad and you can see there how well the plating is still in place on that insert it's got the slotted windscreen and the flint was not degraded inside of this lighter I don't know if they did not ship them with flint or if somebody had the forethought to remove it. I don't know anything about it, why it had that price sticker on it, if that was common. But it looks kind of dark, the wadding. It looks much darker when it's wet than it did dry. But it has sort of a waviness to it. it looks a little different. I have a feeling that it may be that cord looking stuff that was in that Ronson Whirlwind I had a while back. Actually I still have the Ronson Whirlwind I just pulled the that cord type wadding out of it. I really like the slipcase lighters. It's just a, another little nuance. Differentiating styles and designs of lighters. The lid is held on and the hinge is the function of a spring similar to Windmaster and some others. Not sure what the metal is that the lid is made out of. 
probably some kind of steel would be my guess. Works very well. Don't know if it fails to light during this video. Fueling the lighter seems to have doubled its weight, which, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing and not necessarily any different from other lighters of the time. There were a lot of lighters that employed aluminum materials to construct them and it's just not as heavy as brass or steel other metals that are typically used aluminum is very light it is marked Ronson Typhoon British Empire made US patent D138507 Hong Kong that is fantastic so this lighter was actually made in Hong Kong British Empire made doesn't necessarily made it mean it's made in England it was made in what was at the time part of the British Empire which whole different story now Hong Kong was returned and I believe is now under Chinese control has been for the last 20 years or so but that is awesome I don't remember having a lighter that was made in Hong Kong before, so to have a Ronson that was made there, pretty nifty. Does have scuffs to the finish, and you can see there how using it or dinging it or getting it up against other metals for inappropriate amounts of time might hurt the finish might corrode or otherwise wear the anodizing finish there you can see how that spring which is fixed down I believe with the rivet that forms the eyelet for the wick forms a two-tone look the way you have the satin finish of the slipcase base and then the high polish chrome finish of the lid and I don't think I'll be selling this one I don't know maybe this will maybe we'll put this in one of the charity 100% to Huntington's disease lighters put that in one of those auction listings shape of it kind of reminds me of another older lighter I believe it was called the drum maybe made in Chicago or somewhere in Illinois it seems like but it's a lot fatter on the back end than it is on the front and for me that makes it a little bit difficult to grip so Ronson that we haven't had on the channel before until next time